Welcome everyone to Newsweek in Destiny. Today, we're looking at the top drama in the Destiny community. Today's topic, Forges. No, but really, uh, let's have a little chat here. Let's have a little chat here, okay? Uh, there are a lot of people uh, attacking Glad. He made some comments about calling people who forge farm scum. It was a joke, but no one took it as a joke. He was even forge farming all night last night. That's right, he did an entire live stream AFKing in the forges. What a hypocrite. But I wanted to talk about this topic. <laughs> I want to actually discuss it, okay? Even myself, I made a tweet. <laughs> well, I made this tweet today as a joke, but I made this tweet yesterday. While you were AFK farming forges, I was grinding strikes. While you were getting rewards for free, I earned my light. And then, as the darkness is at our doorstep, you'll have the audacity to ask for my help? Pathetic. Now, it got a bunch of likes because people know that it's a joke and a meme based on this uh, picture. But, there are so many people that don't realize I'm joking. There were a lot of people that are angry, that are very angry about this because they're saying, you goddamn content creators, you don't have a normal playtime. You guys play a whole bunch and you're making us feel bad. You're attacking us for doing this. We don't like the light level grind. I want to address this. I want to address all of this right now. Now, for transparency, before I get into this fully, I have AFK Forge Farmed. I want to make videos on different weapons, and to get enough to get the god roll, I would have to put in unhealthy amounts of hours. So instead of doing that, I spend my time making videos for the community, and I am AFK farming, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna deny it, I've got access to a bunch of rolls here so I can test it out for you. I think it's a win-win for the community. But there's lots of people that are angry about AFK farming, or there are people that are angry about people being angry about AFK farming. So let's get into this. The people that are angry about AFK farmers are of a pretty small group, but the group is legitimate players that want to do the forges for something like the Izanagi's Burden or even getting the Yotun. If you are AFKing in these forges, you are a scumbag. I'm sorry, but you are unless you do one thing. If I was to jump in right now at power level 1043, I would be matched with other players that are actively trying to do this. Well, other than the immense amount of AFK people, but you get my idea. People that are launching at this power level or 900 power level or 800 power level even, they are trying to do these forges, they are trying to interact with this content because there's an exotic or item they're hunting for. If you're AFKing, you're screwing them. You are screwing people in the community they're actually trying to play. And so that's frustrating. And I understand that people are mad. Another group of people that are mad are, are, are maybe not mad, but they're just saying, well, you're gonna ruin the game for yourself. You're getting all these rewards for free. You're gonna complain in a week that the game is dead and, and it's your fault. And I get that too. I understand that. But I want to give you uh, I want I want to uh, discuss this from another point of view. If you drop your light level below 750, the amount you would need to even really do damage in the forge, does this hurt anyone? Now, people could call this cheating because you're getting rewards for free, but at least you're not impacting people that are actually trying to play. You're so far below the power level that anyone matching in there is also AFK, and so you are sitting there getting a rewards for free. Now, I know that people will complain and say, hey, you're ruining the game for yourself. Hey, I'm not doing it. You're getting free rewards. That's cheap. But you have to remember that the only one being impacted here is these players in many cases. Now, obviously, they could get the god roll and have a fractional advantage in PvP. But when a game like RuneScape deals with people cheating or AFK or botting, it's because there's a game economy involved. In Destiny, there is no trading, there is no economy, and so while yes, someone might get a ton of rewards, it doesn't impact the overall player base that heavily. Will they maybe jump on and feel bored because they've got all the things they already want without even having to play? Maybe. But I have another argument for you. The power level grind has been the same for the past two years. 
it is relatively identical other than a new activity here or there. You go to the Tangled Shore and you do the Flashpoint for a powerful drop. You play four games of Crucible, you play four games of Gambit, you play three Vanguard Strikes, and you get these powerful drops. And a lot of people are tired of playing old content just so they can play the new content. If you go and do the new IO event, it's required to be like 1040 power to be on level. So if you were to start the DLC or the season, go to IO and try to do the activity, most people got absolutely decimated. Absolutely decimated because the enemies were so tanky. If you didn't go into the season at 10-10 like I did, you were probably even worse off to the point where it's almost impossible. And so when you bring new content, people want to play the new content. They don't want to do the same old strikes they've been doing for two years or three years for some of them. I understand where people are coming from, and I think that this is also a bit of a protest against the power level grind. Some people are doing it because they want free rewards. Some people are doing it because, like me, I, uh, I, I have other work that I need to be doing, but I want to test these new weapons and experience them. But there are some people that are just saying, no, I'm not doing the same power level grind. I'm just doing this, and I don't really fault them. I do think that the power level system needs an overhaul, and I've said many times that it doesn't feel very rewarding. There's this number that goes up over and over again, but that progress keeps getting wiped, and so it feels frustrating that I'm using the exact same gear, but I keep having to bump up this number. It doesn't feel like I'm actually making any progress every season, because yeah, my power level's higher, but I know that it's just gonna go away the next season. And that is something that I think Bungie needs to address, and I think a lot of people are frustrated with in the Destiny community. If you are farming Forges AFK, you are getting free rewards, you are circumventing the system, and I understand that it could be viewed as cheating, but it's your game. It's a video game. It is not a job. You don't have to be forced to do anything you don't want. And if AFKing in a forge is what leads you to playing and having fun with something like the new dungeon, this prophecy dungeon, it's required 1040 power. And the final boss is 1060, right? And it goes away after this season. It's gonna come back later, but it goes away. And so if you can AFK farm so that you can play this and experience this and enjoy it and have a great or a, a great experience, I'm all for it. If the only way to get your power up enough between your job and your kids and your wife or your life or your husband or whatever, maybe you have five dogs, I don't know. I don't care what you do with your life. Maybe you just rave every night and you just <clears throat> I don't care. But if you get to experience some top quality content like this dungeon because you spent a couple hours in a forge, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? I play for a, a living, right? I don't have normal hours. I, 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 don't, I don't have a grasp on, on the average player time. Well, I do a little bit. I, it's not like I'm unempathetic. I understand that, but I get you. You do you. You get your rewards, boo-boo. I'll meet you in the Crucible, okay? We'll play some, some rumble against each other. I'm not, uh, I'm not against it. I, I'm truly not against it. Bungie, I think you've got a, an interesting little situation on your hands here, okay? You don't have people playing the game the way it's intended, but maybe they're having more fun because of it. I want to leave you with this one little statement. There was a big discussion about Diablo, and there's been multiple different game devs that have talked about it. The Path of Exile devs have talked about it, even the Blizzard devs have talked about it. When Diablo 3 first launched, there wasn't a ton of loot, and it didn't feel like it rewarded players' playtime. It was very, very shallow in loot, and people left the game angry because they couldn't get enough of it. In Path of Exile, their theory is completely opposite. Give them as much loot and different things to play around with, and they leave satisfied. They leave happy. Do you want to be known as the company that is stingy on rewards because you don't want people to beat the game? You don't want people to beat it and move on? 
Or do you want to be known as the company that gives out a bunch of stuff, people can play around with it, they can mess around with it how they want, and then they leave happy for the next DLC down the road? That's probably the winning strategy, and I think that... I think that forcing players to do tedious, meaningless, unrewarding stuff is not the way to go. That's just me. I don't know. I'm not a game dev. Is what it is. Hey, I'm just saying my opinion. Everyone, you're all part of the Destiny community. Stop being dicks to each other and just play the way you want to play. If someone wants to farge, farge form, if someone wants to forge farm, if you want to grind out strikes, I don't care. You shouldn't care. Just leave them alone. Just do your thing. I get it. Maybe it impacts you slightly, but not enough to care. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>